up we are back with another video welcome or welcome back in today's video we have hourglass in the house i have the brand new creamy blush sticks on deck and if you're ready to see what's up with it how does it look on a bare face without makeup with makeup and all the tea keep on watching Mwah. before we continue with this video go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of the Steffi glam r us fam so here we have two out of the six shades from the new banish blush sticks skin perfecting blush from hourglass so the two shades i got is loyal which is a rosewood and rebel it's a warm scarlet so each one of these babies they go for 46 dollars i know the price sounds crazy but i already did my homework and comparing these babies to all the brands that they're like right there were hourglass and comparing the amount of product that these blush sticks have the price is not so far off but we're gonna be talking about that in a little bit i do have a bunch of blushes here that we're gonna be comparing it to these ones So this is a creamy blush stick that delivers way less buildable color for a skin perfecting finish. It is a cream to powder formula that blends seamless on the skin for a natural pop of color. It's supposed to blur the look of pores. That's it. That's what really got me into buying these babies. Anything that is going to blur these pores away, I'm all with it. And we gotta give credit where credit is due. Hourglass is known for that. So they come with six grams. The foundation stick from Hourglass comes with seven grams. It's not really that much of a difference, but the foundation brings more. They are the same packaging, same length, they weigh the same, everything the same. So, and I do love the foundation stick, but comparing it to the foundation stick from Huda Beauty, you already know how I feel. I love the Huda Beauty foundation stick. It blends easier. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Which is light, the finish is natural, and the formulation is stick. It's supposed to keep the skin hydrated, moisturized, and they're supposed to feel really comfortable on the skin. Let's find out. So I'm gonna be swatching them for you so you can see and compare these two shades that I picked up, and then I'm gonna be bringing you closer. So this comes in a little triangle tip, which I don't know if to love it or hate it. It's literally like a love and hate relationship that I have with this packaging because you have to be careful. You can forget to put the product all the way down or you will literally fuck so it up. So this is the shade Loyal and this is the shade Rebel. Let me focus on the swatches. And this is very, very bright. I like it. Pretty the swatches look up close. And they're not that glowy, but they're not completely matte. They, and I really like the formulation so of it. I have a bare face right now. Yes, I did prep my face, but what we're gonna be doing in today's video, we're gonna be testing this out on bare face and on top of makeup. You guys know that when it comes to compression products, I need to know if they work without makeup or no so we're gonna be using one in each side of the face and like that you are gonna be able to see them side by side on the actual face so what hourglass is recommending to contour and apply to the apples of the cheeks and blend it towards the temples with the finger or the brush i'm applying rubble So Rebel, it is very Rebel. <laughs> it is very pigmented as you can see. And I'm gonna be using my classic cheek from Sonia G. This is a brush that I always use for cream or liquid blushes. You see how pigmented it is? Very, very, very pigmented. But look, it blends beautiful. It does literally blend seamless. It is giving me a nice luminosity, but it's not too much. It's not too much. It's like perfect. See, it does have kind of like that soft focus effect. And it does look so nice. 
on bare. I'm gonna be grabbing my foundation brush and just blend a little bit right here because I burned it in too much. Now we're gonna go with the shade Loyo, which this is super pretty, super, super pretty. It's not as pigmented as the other one. It's more like toned down. This shade will look so nice with any color. Mm, nice. Out of the six shades, these two were the ones that they were like calling my name. All right, so I really like how they look without foundation, without makeup, on bare face. It's super nice. It's giving me the nice, pretty, natural glow. What I'm gonna be doing now is let me go with my foundation brush on top of it to take a little bit of the pigmentation out so I can put my foundation on. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Foundation Stick on the shade Sen. This shade, it's a little bit too yellow for me. I do need to grab another shade, more neutral, but I keep forgetting. So let's use this one for now. Hey guys so i already applied my foundation my concealer contour and all that good stuff now it's time for the blush yes i'm gonna look crazy because i'm about to apply one in each side again but fuck it fuck i just really want you guys to see which one of these two do you guys like more because you don't really need to buy one and you are set to go so Rebel in this side of the face Don't take them out too much like literally no more than that. You don't want to break it All you gotta do is just stamp it right here and you're good Turns your temples and I do have a little bit of powder right here on this area from when I set my under eye And it's actually going on top of it really nice and smooth so Good to know. It is buildable, so we're gonna be building it up. I'm gonna apply a little bit more, and I'm gonna be using my Fenty brush. This is the 125 to blend it right here on place. Okay, so that looks super pretty. I like it. This is the shade Rebel. And then now let's go in with Loyo in the other side. This is also a pretty shade. This rosewood. That's one pass. Let me build it up really quick. I'm actually going ham with the shade Loyal. Let me blend it right here in place on the apples of my cheeks. So this is the shade Loyal. This one right here. And this is the shade Rebel. Comment down below and let me know which one do you like more, Rebel or Loyal? I like both of them. All right, guys, so you already saw the application of these blushes, which they look really, really, really nice. They don't feel sticky. They don't feel tacky. They don't feel emollient, nothing. Literally, they dry down quick as hell. To powder what we're gonna be doing right now really quick is I pull out some of my stick blushes and some other blushes that they have similar shades I want to compare the color and I want to compare the formula I didn't pull out all my blushes if not you were gonna be here with me for years I'm gonna start with this baby from Westman Atelier I have two shades of the blush stick this is literally $48 two more dollars from the hourglass so the price is right there they have the same amount of product and both of them are cream blush stick I have the shade pop it and viche viche is the new shade which is like this red burgundy shade of course the one from hourglass it is way brighter if you ask me which of these two shades 
I like more, I will pick this one from Hourglass. It's just brighter, it's going to give your complexion like a more live type of look. You know, this is a little bit more subtle. Let me swatch it right here next to Rebel. See? That is a more toned down color, a more burgundy, kind of like a wine shade. It is a darker than Loyo. But when it comes to formula, they're actually very, very similar. The ones from Westman Atelier, they feel a bit more powdery than the ones from Hourglass. Like the one from Hourglass, when you first touch it, you do feel like the sticky, like a cream product. But then you have to keep blending it, keep blending it, and then it will transform to powder. But the one from Westman Atelier, it feels a bit more powdery of rib. See? Both of them have beautiful formulas. I was wiping down my swatches so I can do fresh swatches and as soon as I wiped my hand down the one from Westman Atelier it completely came off and look how you can still see the two swatches from the Hourglass blushes. That means they last honey and they do last. All the shade that I have from Westman Atelier, it's Puppet, this bright ass pink, which I don't even need to swatch it. Hourglass don't have a bright pink like this. So if this is what you're looking for, totally go with Westman Atelier. One blush that I automatically thought of when I saw this shade right here, Rebel, and it is this one from Merc Beauty on the shade Grateful. If you put them side to side, they look super, super similar. And this is like, $20 if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this is liquid. The one from Hourglass are cream But still this formula right here from Rare Beauty. It is stunning 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 Let me swatch right here next to Rebel Guys Holy shit, they look so so the same Save your money Save your money. Look at that. Let me bring right, you guys. Go. So the one in the middle is the one from Hourglass on the shade Rebel. And this one, it's Grateful from Rare Beauty. This is literally 20 bucks. That's it. The one from Hourglass, it's double the price from Rare Beauty. And look at the shades. The one from Hourglass, it's like a bit more orangey. When the one from Rare Beauty, it is more of a true vibrant red, as you can see right there. But on the cheeks, once you blend that out, you are not going to be able to tell the difference at all. Trust me. And the formulation of the one from Bare Beauty, it's super comfortable. It dries down beautiful on the skin. Have you closer. I also have this one from Bare Beauty on the shade Bliss. This is more of a matte finish. And Grateful, it's more glowy. You can see it right there on the bottles. But I think Bliss... It's kind of similar to Loyal from Hourglass. So let's watch it because if these two look almost the same as the one from Hourglass, you don't need them at all. Like, it doesn't matter how much I like the formula. And this blush right here, it is bomb.com. If you don't have it, you need it. So yes, it is more pinky. This one from Hourglass, it's more rosewood because that is a true rosewood. But again, on the face, once you blend it, you are not going to be able to tell the difference at all. Look, look at Loyal right here and look at Again, this is more pinky. This is more rosewood on the face. You're not going to be able to see the difference. Like, look at Rebel and look at Loyal. Yes, Rebel looks a little bit more intense than Loyal, but if I build this side up a little bit more, which one is which one? This OG from Milk. This is on the shade Work. This is a sample size that they gave me, I think, for my birthday. But let me swatch it right here. And <laughs> oh my god they look the same way 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 all right guys so this is loyal from hourglass and this is worked from milk i got this for free and i have a bunch of product left 
and they're the same formula. And you see, even the one from Rare Beauty, once it sits there for a little bit, it oxidizes a little bit more so it gets darker. Because even this one is starting to look a little bit more like the ones up there. And the formulation from all of these blushes right here, they're all beautiful. no more I'm not going to be comparing these blushes with no other blushes it's not necessary I knew it that they were going to be super super similar so if the ones from her beauty and the one from milk look so similar to the one from hourglass trust me that there is a bunch that they look similar to this ones. I was super excited about these blushes. I really thought they were gonna be something more like, oh my God, it's going to change my blush game. I'm so dramatic. <laughs> but I thought it was gonna be a little bit more special. Don't get me wrong, I do love both of the shades. I do love the formula. And when it comes to them saying that it blurs the pores a little bit, I mean, blur the pores? you know what i mean i do see like a little soft focus effect especially with rebel right here it looks super nice it glides beautifully on the skin super lightweight and i did loved the way they look without makeup yes they look beautiful but you don't need them you don't need them because to be honest with you the same way that i like this is the same way that i love this one from her beauty and this one and then the one from milk and i know that i have other blushes that they look similar to this ones so now if the formula was something more special i will be sitting here telling you you need them if you were looking at Revel because of that stunning, vibral, super intense shade, which I know this catch anybody's eyes, trust me. If this is what you want, then get this one from Rare Beauty. And if you want loyal, then just get Bliss. Bliss, it's a beautiful, beautiful blush. Beautiful. And trust me that the formulation of these blushes, it's not going to let you down. I do have this baby from, from Sarai. This is a new liquid blushes video. It's coming up. And I also have the Patrick Tattoos, but I ordered two shades and I only got one. I already called Sephora. They already chipped it out. I get the other one on Monday. As soon as I get them, I'm doing my review. Please, guys, have me patience. I know I'm behind. I am playing catch up right now. I'm trying my best to just you know be back on track which trust me when i tell you i will just have me a little bit of patience but we are done with this video thank you again for another great video i love you all so damn much and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i hope now you are considering subscribing down below press the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so youtube can notify you every time i upload new videos and give me thumbs up if you enjoyed this video Mwah! see you on the next one